Let's see how to create a deduplicated mailing list using the Nonprofit Success Pack. We get excited about our digital tools and real-time data, but Nonprofit Success Pack is also here to support our direct mail efforts. Every organization has at least a certain segment of donors who get inspired by receiving an actual piece of mail. We always want to minimize mailing costs and avoid sending a donor duplicate mailings. Let's see how this works. NPSP includes an action called Household Mailing List and Campaigns. If we don't see the action, we may have to go into Setup and add it to the layout. Select Edit Object. Select Page Layouts. Select Household Mailing List and drag to the Mobile and Lightning Action section. Select Save. Let's start with a campaign record and add all the contacts you are including in your mailing. Check Salesforce campaign documentation around populating and maintaining campaign members. As you can see, you may have multiple members from the same household account in your campaign. This is okay. Let's click the Household Mailing List button and see what happens with our mailing list. We can see that the NPSP ran a special report that displays only one row per household account. We can quickly export this report and use it to mail merge labels or to provide it to our mailhouse. That was easy! How does this work? The Household Mailing List button appends the phrase Household Duplicate to the campaign member's status of members identified as duplicates. For example, Sent becomes Sent-Household Duplicate for the second person in a household. As you can see in our mailing campaign, Sam is still listed as sent, but Jerry has been marked sent duplicate. Note that this is done randomly in the campaign and not always the secondary contact. The report that pops up after pushing the button is filtered to show members in your campaign and to filter out those that include duplicate in the status. Smart, right? It's important to note that the household mailing list button loads a very specific report. If you'd like different columns or filters to appear in this report, you'll need to edit the report NPSP Campaign Household Mailing List Version 2 report, or check your settings for which report you have tied to the button. You also want to avoid oversaving this report with the results from one button push. Always use Save As unless you want to globally change the report for each use. Some of our favorite fields to add to this report include the formal and informal greeting fields so we can address the entire household and not just one member. And finally, because pushing the household mailing list edits the campaign member status, you may need to adjust reports or automation tools that reference status values, or you may want to clone and repopulate a campaign just for deduplicating if you're sending a mailing and do not want your original statuses modified. Thanks for watching.